All right, guys, so in the first time in Frostborn history, the first tournament of Frostborn history, we got third place, which I'm actually a little surprised by. I guess there was another clan that was smartly waiting towards the end to kind of see what everyone else did before they used their points. Uh, it's also been really buggy. It's been hard to know. Like, it's it said the tasks are available, but then you can't actually do it. So, uh, but look, I got 500 um, influence points and 500 silver, 500 of the clan coins and two books. Um, and so that gives me a total of 720 clan coins. I really want to get just a little bit more, um, but I don't know if we can do these tasks or not. Today is a rest day. Clans receive their rewards and prepare for the next tournament. Got it, that's cool. Um, but it, it was allowing us to anyways so let's go in let's uh check it out okay so let's go in and let's check out the different chests let's talk about them and then i'm going to show you what all my clan mates made because they've already they've already done it so this chest if this is kind of even uh which i think it is uh, this chest is the best way to get silver. If, if all you're going for is silver, a lot of uh, free-to-play players are seeing all of these way, new ways of getting silver, and they're like, ooh, I want to max out my district. If that's your goal, then this is what you're going to want to go for, okay? Yes, you're not going to get the best stuff in the game, but you can go get those best stuff in the game. If you're a free-to-play player, you can go get those best stuff in the game other ways. This is going to be the best way to get the most amount of silver. Um... And, and then this, you know, it's got the armored brown horse, um, and it's got a bunch of purple stuff, which is good. And it still gives a decent amount of silver. It's, it's about basically, um, a 33% less or 25% reduction of how much you'd get if you did the other one. Um, this one is more silver than the middle one. So really the middle one's kind of the crap chest. In my opinion, you just shouldn't get the middle one. Um, this one has all good stuff, right? Um, 700 silver is pretty crazy. Now it's, it's like, that's like 12% less than if you did, you know, the hundred for every time you get silver, you're going to get 800 silver in that chest for every 700 silver here. So it's a little, still a little bit more to do the first chest in silver wise. But the thing that I'm really hoping for is to get the celestial armored horse Dang it! I see the picture now. It, I don't like the pink shoes. Why? Why does it give pink? I don't know. Maybe it looks cooler, but I'm not as excited. I thought it was going to look cooler. I mean, it looks okay, but it's just not as cool as, um, as I was hoping. So we're going to go for that. Because I think, I don't know, maybe the, maybe it's just a skin, but maybe it's cool. It's really cool. So, um, I do need to add, oh, Telestic, Telestic, Telistic. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I see you're on the voice chat. You got, okay, actually, before I say anything, let's, let's show what people got. But, um, Telistic, I'm hoping you can show me some video of what you got, but I'm not going to say what you got yet. Okay, so let's go over here to screen capture. This is my my clan. Uh, we're gonna zoom in here. Okay, so this is Cipher. Cipher is one of the clan mates. You can see that he's got uh, 800 points. So he's gonna do this twice. And there we go. We got Instigator Helmet, which is great. Instigator Helmet is amazing. Let's see what else he gets. You can see that it has the icon over the chest too. And Instigator Boots, even better. Um, so that was good. That was a good little run. You can see you get some really good stuff from this chest. Let's go to the next one. Whoa, what's happening? All right, and he got some skull claws. I'm gonna mute that business. And he only had 500 points, so he's gonna come over here and get the recruits chest. And he got silver, which is the best thing you can get from this chest. So that was good. That was Alexander. So Alexander got some 
Honestly, that's a pretty good set. That was a pretty good system he just got. All right, let's check out. This is, uh, um, it's Telestic. Here we go. Boom, Skull Claws. That's pretty good, but he's got more. He's got 200 more. And what does he get? I already know. <laughs> it's the Brown Armored Horse, so I'm really hoping he can show us what that looks like. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> look, look how excited he is. Too bad it's on the OBT, uh, but he can still play with it next OBT. All right, this guy got a fire bow. That's pretty awesome. Yazan. And then for his last 100 points, he got an ash staff. It's kind of it's kind of lame. I mean, I guess it's not horrible, but. All right, and this is Typed Lapel. You guys know I've been working with him for a while. All right, and uh, let's see what he gets. All right, so, okay, he's he's making it a video. He's making it as long as possible. This is this is a good YouTuber right here. You make you draw it out, make people watch longer, so YouTube loves it. Okay, he's got. Uh, he got a fire dagger, which is pretty cool. I love the animation they put over it. And armor potions. That's so lame. Oh my gosh, this is pretty much a waste. That is so horrible. Oh, I can't believe that. That's the worst. Um. So, yeah, okay. Oh, is he claiming his stuff right now? No, he's just talking about it. He's just showing everyone stuff. Okay. That's a good YouTuber right there, making that take forever. Okay, actually, before I keep showing you guys what you get, look look over here. Look at this. There it is. There's the brown armored horse. Oh, my gosh, that looks cooler than the celestial horse. Okay, what are the stats on it? Can you talk in voice chat, or is it a level 3 horse that you have right now? Because if it's level three, then we can just uh, compare our horses. Does it give plus five? Uh, can you type in general? Um, um, basically, it's level one. It's level one. Okay, well, still tell me what. Does it give five inventory slots? Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, hold your, hold your uh, cursor over it, um, and or hold your finger over it and take a screenshot if you can. So it tells you. I mean, I I see all. Does it? How much does it help you traveling to the world speed? Uh, the world, the world, map. Okay, guys, I'm going to show this to you because it's it's pretty awesome. All right, look at this. Oh, my gosh, it looks so cool. I think it looks better than the Black Armored Horse and the Celestial Horse. It's just classy. You got the horns, the, the horns sticking out of it, but everything's, like, just leather. It just looks so cool. Whereas I feel like the the red eyes on the, on the Black Armored Horse just isn't quite as cool. But um, I bet you that when he levels this up it's going to be the same as my armored horse the the black armored horse because you can see here that my stats are not that much different i've got two more of these maybe you get an extra one every level maybe i don't know and then you get you know 50 i i'm at 50 movement speed he's at 46 i bet you he's get gets that for sure um oh here we go here's a video about it all right here's his video so you can see here he's got traveling world speed 70. all right now let's go back over to mine 
Traveling world speed 74%. I bet you it's the same stats, the brown versus the black, which is awesome. It's gonna be a lot easier to get that brown one than it was to get this black one. And it just looks cooler. I don't know, I mean, some people like the whole like, you know, undead looking horse type thing. And so you're gonna like the black horse better. But if you like the classic look, this is a better look in my opinion. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so let's keep looking. Um, where am I at? Where am I at? Um, yes, okay, this is where this one. Here we go. So this is uh, Envy. Envy is, lo he's going, <laughs> he's taking his time too. There we go. Oh, he was only eight points short from getting uh, 600. Oh my gosh, that's so horrible. <laughs> He's mad about it. Oh my goodness, that's bad. Let's see if he gets, oh, he got silver. At least he got silver. That's the best thing you can get out of that chest. Whatever, that, okay, he shouldn't be mad about that one. He's probably still mad about getting the book. That's so, that's so lame. Oh, I feel bad for him. Okay, here's another YouTube video. Mm -hmm, at least you can skip through them. All right, here we go. Le leader's chest and ooh, an ice axe. That's a good axe right there. That 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 life steal is pretty awesome. Especially if you really know what you're doing. All right, what does he get here? Okay, I mean, that's some points. <laughs> some points at, Odin, at Odin's altar. Okay, uh, looks like um, Buggo got a, <laughs> dang it, he got a book too. That sucks. And then he got the crossbow, which is, I guess, okay. Oh, my, hold on, my man. All right, he just got something. Look, he just got that, uh... ooh, and uh, Dispel. Okay, so he's spending his money on, then he got that staff, nice. So he didn't spend anything on this chest. Not, not going for the Celestial Horse. Okay, going back to this, uh, over here, we've got one more person, this is Champion. Champion is opening ah, instigator boots. Okay, not what I, I mean, instigator boots are great. That's one of the best things you can get out of the chest, but I really want someone to get the celestial horse. Okay, and it looks like he's saving his uh, last resources for maybe next time. And, um, and then we'll, you know, cause it is smart. Because it is smart. If you're gonna if you're gonna save your resources, then you might as well save them here. So, okay. Well, I'm gonna see what I get. Oh man, I'm uh, nervous. So I really want. You know what? I'm gonna open one of each chest, just because I have the resources for it. So we're gonna start here. Now, I don't recommend you guys doing this. Honestly, the middle chest, unless you're going for the brown armored horse. There's no reason. And it is nice to get the brown armored horse because it's so fast. World travel speed is so much faster than any of the other uh, animals, even the even the bear. I think it, you travel faster in the world map, even faster than the bear. So if you wanna have like multiple horses, like multiple animals that have different roles, then you're gonna want, but once you get the brown armored horse, then I would just avoid the advisor's chest. It's not very good. So. Um, I'm going to start out here and uh, we're going to see the ultimate goal here would be to get the silver. Okay. That's really what you want to get. You can see a lot of people got silver. Um, and so ah, I don't want to do it though. I don't want to spend the money. You, y'all guys got to see it, right? Y'all got to see, uh, people get a lot of people got the silver. If that's what you're going for, if you're gonna, if you want to be the first free-to-play player to max out your district, then you're gonna be opening this chest 
exclusively. Okay, it's gonna get you the most amount of silver. Um, then there's this chest, which has the brown armored horse and some other good stuff. Oh my gosh, I kind of want that horse. No, I already have the black armored horse. Okay, we're just gonna open this chest, and I'm gonna probably save my points for to keep opening this chest because I wanted to see the celestial armored horse. Even though I don't think that actually looks that good, but I want to know if its stats are better than um, than the black armored horse. I don't think it is though. If it's just a skin, then it's probably kind of lame. So I'm really disappointed. I thought the celestial armored horse was going to be so amazing. I'm like really into horses. Like I just feel like horses are a cooler mount than wolves and bears because I'm kind of a classic guy. And so I was really hoping this would be, but I don't know. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. We are going to see if I get marks, I'm going to be real sad. If I get the book, I'm going to be real sad. If I get the backpack, I actually on this account, I'm going to be cool about the back. Everything else I'll be cool about, but the marks and the book are going to really suck if I get those. So. Here we go. Oh my gosh. No! Oh no. That is so lame. That's worse than the book. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I've never been that lucky at games like this. This is why I hate RNG. Ah. That is lame. Oh my gosh. I don't want to end on that, but I think it would just get worse if I kept using my points. Hmm, what should I do? No, it's so bad. That's it, guys. So I'm glad y'all I hope I'm glad I got to show you guys what my guild mates got because that was really lame. <laughs> I can't believe I just got the 10 marks. The 10 marks, to give you guys an idea, um, 10 marks is worth, you know, 100 gold, maybe, not even, maybe 75 gold. Whereas uh, at least a book, which is the second worst, is worth 150 gold. You know, it's twi the book is twice as good as marks. And, uh, and even that is kind of lame, so. <sighs> oh well. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I'm so, this armored horse is so cool. Okay, I want the armored horse. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, give me the armored horse. No, dang it. I knew it, I'm not. Okay, I gotta stop spending my points. I just can't, that's, oh my gosh. I'm so annoyed right now. <laughs> oh man, I I'm already gonna I'm gonna start. I'm cooling on this update because I hate RNG. If if they made it to where when you did it, like it would block out that section and then then you would know the next sections, it would, it would make it so much cooler because it would make the strategy even if it was all your guilt, right? Like I get the marks and then it's blocked off, right? And then the next guy knows, ooh, someone already got the marks. I'm going to buy it now. <laughs> and and uh, that would be really cool. Or if you're, like, really trying to get the Celestial Horse and you, like, save up your points and then your, you know, your clan gets it to where there's only, like, three left and you can see, oh, the Celestial Horse is one of them. And then you just buy it real quick. You buy all three and you guarantee yourself getting one. That's how I hope the devs change it someday because – that I hate RNG. RNG is like my, I hate it. It just, there's so many things that go wrong. It makes so many people unhappy, but if you can have the, you know, the, st the same statistics or you, you, they, they rig it how they want it, but then you can see how it's rigged. Then at least it, we know what's happening. So, but maybe they don't want to do that because they like the loot box feel. I don't know, but I hope they change it. Frostborn's making enough money. I don't think they need the loot box. I don't think they need to use loot box tactics. So I hope they change. 
I hope they change it to where you can see what, you know, it basically X's it out and you can see what's next. So, well, that's it, guys. We, uh, we did it. We used our rewards. Um, and then probably I'm going to just save my last 120 points. And then when the next, like tomorrow, when the, um, when the tasks become available again, we'll do them as a clan again. And I'll try to get more points, and then I'll see if I can't, you know, get something a little bit better. But so far, my luck has not been that great. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.